What does it really mean to raise your vibration? What does it mean that your thoughts create your reality? I'm sure you heard of these ideas before. Though, there's a perception out there that dismisses these ideas as mere woo-woo nonsense or some mystical hippie crap or that it's something to do with astrology. However, on a fundamental level, none of that is true because it's actually science. Yes, science! And in this video, I'm going to give you a simple breakdown in layman's terms on what this whole idea of raising your vibration is all about, why it's important, and some key ideas you need to understand about the universe so you can use them in a practical way as a means to have a better quality of life. The first and foremost thing you need to understand is that everything is energy. We are living in a universe where everything in creation is based on a system of energy. You, me, and all other living and non-living entities is energy. The screen you are watching this on right now is energy. But more importantly to understand that on a subatomic level, meaning down to the very individual atoms that comprise your cells, is 99.9999% Energy. In his various books and throughout his work, neuroscientist Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about how we are more no thing than we are actually something. Meaning as much as we are inclined and conditioned to identify with our physical bodies, we are not this meat suit. We are energy. The next thing to understand is that besides me, you, and everything else in the universe being energy, more importantly, your thoughts and your emotions are energy. So what is a thought? A thought is nothing more than a unit of mental energy that science is actually able to measure. Everything that was ever created started with a thought. And what happens when we have a thought? It triggers a feeling within us it elicits a corresponding emotion. But wait a second, wait a second. What's an emotion? Just like your thoughts, emotions are energy. They are described as energy in motion. But better said, they're the feelings that are occurring in the body. We give a label to these emotions like joy, happiness, anger, sadness, but they are nothing more than what's going down inside of us. They are the movements from the energy that's occurring in our bodies. So we have us, human beings, but our core, our essence is energy. And then we have our thoughts and our emotions, which is also energy. And this experience we are having as human beings is this constant back and forth of thinking and feeling and feeling and thinking. It's the interplay between our thoughts and our emotions. As every thought we have, it's tied to a feeling which creates more thoughts, which leads to more feelings, and back and forth we go. And this is essentially how we individually experience our own particular reality. And at the heart of it is the basis for everything, which is energy. This leads to two important points in which raising your vibration is all about. First, like all forms of energy, the emotions we feel are vibrating at a certain frequency, meaning they are moving at a certain speed. When we're feeling happy, loving, or grateful, we are vibrating at a much higher frequency than when we are angry, frustrated, or complaining. In their work, Esther and Jerry Hicks describe an emotional guidance scale which ranks the vibrational frequency of some of the most commonly felt emotions on a scale from 1 to 22. So think for a second what it feels like inside of you to be vibrating rapidly. You probably feel radiantly alive and excited. This is the energy that gives us that jolt to fully experience and create our lives. Now, what does it feel like to be vibrating slowly? You likely feel sluggish and down this is what drains us of our creative power and keeps us feeling stuck. This is because 
over time, the emotions we consistently feel will accumulate a dominant vibration within us. And this will become our dominant state of being. This is the energetic frequency we emit out into the world. This is our vibrational set point. This is who we are being every single day. And remember earlier, I talked about the back and forth between thinking and feeling and feeling and thinking. The quality of those thoughts and emotions and where they fall on the vibrational scale becomes your default state of being. So quite literally, the vibrational frequency we are accumulating in our body over a period of time is determining our personal reality. So when we talk about raising your vibration, we're talking about elevating the emotions we are feeling inside of our bodies to vibrate literally at a higher speed above our default set point, which leads us to our second point about raising your vibration. Like all forms of energy, our emotions are malleable, which means they can be shifted and transmuted. Just like something in a liquid state can freeze or turn to gas, we can transform our state of being. This is what we want because it puts us in the driver's seat of creating our own personal reality. Because we can shift our emotions anytime we want. We can elevate how we feel. We can change our energy. And it may sound really simplistic or like kindergarten self-development, but it all begins with your thoughts. Because remember, everything created started in someone's mind first. Every day we can take charge of our thoughts and consciously work to raising our default state of being to that of a higher energetic frequency. In future videos, I will have tools and practices that I will share that can help you do that. But for now, the first thing we must understand and start to live by so we can consciously create the life we desire, take conscious control of our life, is to start viewing everything as energy and become aware of that interplay between your thoughts and your emotions and how the vibration those emotions carry is what is determining your reality. Think of it like this, the quality of your emotions, the quality or the vibration of your energy is your quality of life. So if you're dissatisfied with any part of your reality, if you're unhappy with any part of your life, look no further than your thoughts and what they are causing to bubble up inside you. Change your energy, you change your life. This, in a nutshell, is what raising your vibration is all about. Thanks for watching.